off to England and Germany got themselves off to a fantastic start over in the ladies Euro 2022 but of course heading into match number two can they remain unbeaten we're gonna take a look at that and more next Today we're taking a look at the 2022 Euros. That's right for the ladies, of course, and we're head into match number two. In this video, we're going to take a look, and of course, at part one, which includes the four matches that take place in Group A and Group B. Of course, if you're new to the channel, where you've been, smash your subscribe button, keep back to it. All things Euro 22 related, Papua Novas related, world football related. We got it all here, boys. And uh, one Ruski, of course, joining me, of course, will be Millie to talk about the next round of matches, match number two, part one. Uh, and we'll get to her in a minute. Before all that, we're going to have a take a look and how we all got on last time around. But before we jump into that big picture, that's to the VRPs. That's, of course, the Patreons, guys. You know who you are. But anyway, let's jump in the deep end, of course. Have a look at, uh, at how we all got on then, shall we? And wow, wow, we wow, indeed. So, of course, we do have... Let's go back, back to the big picture. We do have, of course, a Super Brew uh, prediction league going on. It is a tester for the new season. If it works well, we're going to stick to it. If it's uh, a bag of shit, we're going to dump into it. But let's take a look at the current standings, of course, heading into from the completion of match number one, part one, and uh, is it well, part one? Part, no, it's just part one, of course. So here we go, then take a look at the leaderboard. And of course, I'm there with a smile on my face. Get rid of it, get rid of it, so we can see in all its glory. It is me sitting pretty at the top of the table. Do, 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 do. Let's keep it, let's keep it where it bloody is. Look at me with six points leading the charge ahead of James BCFC. BCFC are great, of course, with 5.5. JP Jokers up there, uh, in joint third, alongside Winky Hansworth and Eddie Komode. Uh, Wembley. Uh, one two's up there as well A Judy as well and Millie of course dipping up a point but she had a bit of a stinker in the first set of games uh, but anyway let's take a look at of course uh, the games in a bit of detail here we're going to start with where it all started uh, England up against Austria uh, there I am uh, but that doesn't really matter about me what are we looking at England Austria that's a one nil I went with a three nil it was a one nil in the end and everybody else's picks are on display here Millie had an absolute stinker on that one but the vast majority of us got it right uh, next up we had Norway up against Norway Northern Ireland. 4-1 was the final score. I went with a 2-0. Uh, moving down here. What's this traditional view? There we go. It's a little bit more easier to consume there. There's all the results. These are the guys got it close to the money or uh, pretty much bang on. And uh, again, Millie and Wembley with a bit of a stinker on that one. Uh, moving on to Spain against... Uh, against Finland, of course. That game is done and dusted as well. 4 was the final score. I got bang on with a 4-1. So well done. So many three points for me. And, of course, the rest of the guys got 1.5. Uh, and then, of course, the final game that we did look at last time was Germany's 4-0 win. Uh, I went with a 2-1 uh, win, which is a bit of a shitter. Um, but it was 4-0 in the end. And we're joined once again by Millie. Of course, Millie, our, our mini-expert, of course, ladies football, gearing up for match number two. Of course, we've got uh, four games to look at before. For all that, we are going to revisit the scores from last time around. Of course, see how close we were, see how far away we were. And of course, we're going to gear up for the next one. So before, hold on tight, Millie. We'll get to you in a second. Just uh, we're going to go through these bad boys. So England against Austria last time around. This is the last game. Of course, the result was a 1-0 win for England. I went with a 3-0 win. Of course, Austria uh, uh, failed to deliver there. You went with a 1-1 draw on that one. Meanwhile, Norway, big winners for them. 4-1 win over Northern Ireland. I went with a 2-0. You went with a 2-1 the other way. Uh, and, of course, it was a comfortable win for, for Norway, looking very, very good. Spain, of course, did beat uh, uh, Finland. I got that one bang on the nose. 4-1 it was. You went with a 2-1 win, so that's a point in the bag. And then wrapping it up, wrapping it up of course, the match number one, part one. It was Germany, big winners for them. 4-0 on the night. 2-1 for me. 0-0 for you. You did get the clean sheet for Germany, and you did get the point for uh, for Finland, of course. So we, we, we're, we're up and running. We have that, had a quick look at half of the, the nations, their first games, of course. So now we're going to go into the, the match day number two, part one. And these are the games. And uh, I'm going to try and put these in manually, if it will let me. Uh, let me just get to, the, uh, get to the screen here. Yes, we're going to be able to do this manually. So we're going to start with 
Millie's with me. Of course, we're going to start with Austria against Northern Ireland. Now, before we uh, take a look at the game, we're going to look at the stats. And of course, maybe that will judge or sway our, our judgment. So this game, Austria up against Northern Ireland is coming at you on the 11th of the 7th. Of course, I think that is Monday. Uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll can examine that later. But anyway, Austria against Northern Ireland at St. Mary's. Of course, down Southampton Way, Austria, uh, of course, uh, opening up with a defeat, as did Northern Ireland, of course, in their first games. 67% for Austria heading into this game. Uh, Northern Ireland, though, 25%. Four defeats on the spin. Uh, but these two nations have played each other in recent times. Of course, it was uh, they played each other twice since 2021. One win for Austria, zero wins for Northern Ireland, and one draw. Of course, Austria, though, covered them with four wins on the last two. And, of course, their last time they played each other was a 3-1 win for Austria back in April 2022. That was a World Cup qualifying game, uh, and that was over in Austria. Of course, Austria did lose to England early doors. Northern Ireland did lose to Norway. Of course. So the odds, they've got odds on this one, basic odds. Uh, and the odds go heavily in favour of Austria to win this game. Northern Ireland are unfancied and the draw is in the middle. What do you think about that one, Millie? Do you want me to go first or do you want to go first? Either way. Either way. We'll let you go first. Ladies first. Ladies first. Go for it. Austria against Northern Ireland. What do you think the score is going to be? I'm going I to said 2-2. 2-2 two, two on this one. Wow, wow, we another uh, optimistic draw there. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with just the one nil for Austria on this one. Hopefully it's popping up. Yes, it is. So that's of course match the number one part. Uh, well, actually, match number two, uh, number one. Uh, and now we're gonna jump in the deep end and of course take a look at England. That's right, England's next match. Of course, fantastic start for them uh, with that uh, win over Austria. Uh, they actually take place on the uh, where are we? Where are we? Match number two. They're gonna take place same day. That's 11th of July. Late kickoff, of course. Uh, it's late kickoff for me anyway, over at the Brighton Community Stadium, a.k.a. the Amex. Uh, England coming in just 100% form for them. Up against Norway, 100% form as well. Two sides who look very, very good uh, in match day number one, and they come into this with a bit of hope. Of course, they played each other six times in 2009. Three wins for England, two wins for Norway, one draw down the middle. Of course, England are winning uh, their biggest win over Nor Norway. was a 3-0 win. The biggest win the other way was a 2-1 win, and that's for Norway as well. And England have scored 10 goals uh, uh, against Norway. Norway since 2009, Norway just the five. 1.67 goals for England in on average against Norway. 0.83 goals a game for Norway. Of course, England though, haven't lost in the last 15 games uh, and England haven't lost in any of the last 10 home matches as well. Norway on the flip side haven't lost in any of the last six away games. But the last time these two nations did play each other was a friendly. It was a 2-1 win for Norway. That was all the way back in September 2019. However, the last time that they played each other in a game that really mattered, England came out on top with a 3-0 win. Norway picking up a 4-1 win over Northern Ireland. Last time around, England with a 1-1 win over Austria. And it's in back-to-back -back clean sheets for England. England are favoured to win this game. Norway, the underdogs. In the middle is the even sort of Stevens. Millie, what do you got for this game? Call me biased all you want, but I said 2-0 to England. 2-0, of course, she's back in her ladies here with a big two. That's why I put 2-0 in here. I'm going to go 2-0 as well, because I've typed it in anyway. So we'll both go, to, in fact, I will go 3-0, just to be a little bit different. And of course, it's all, you know, all for fun. Of course, make sure you get involved with the Super Brew, of course, get your names in there. It's still plenty of time to get involved. So 2-0 win for Millie. I've gone with a 3-0 win. We are moving on to match day number three, or match number three in this pile up here. It's Denmark up against Finland. That's right, this is over in Group B. Uh, let's take a look at it. Of course, Denmark, I think, uh, opened up with a win. Or did they, did they win last time? They got spanked. They got spanked by Germany. 4-0, that's hot off the press. Uh, but they do come into 67% form up against Finland. Finland come into 33% form, losing, of course, the last three games. Uh, but they played each other seven times in 2005. Four wins for Denmark, two for Finland, one draw down the middle. Of course, the biggest win for Denmark over Finland was a 5 0 win, and the biggest win there was a 1 0 win. Uh, in fact, Denmark scored 11 goals to Finland's uh, five. Uh, which works out around about 1.57 goals in game ratio coming out of Finland's 0.71. This game will take place the 12th of July at the Stadium MK. And of course, they played each other last time around. It was a 1-0 win for Denmark back in January 2019. Finland's one and only win was way back in 2009. Wow, wow. How many years ago was that? A long time ago. Uh, Finland did lose to Spain. Bit of a spanking there, but also Denmark also on a bit of a spanking. Both of these two sides coming in is on the back of a bit of, bit of a rough one. Hopefully, they're bouncing back in match day number two. I don't have any odds, so it's going to be... Uh, uh, Whatever you think. We're going to go with Millie on this one. What do you think about the Scandinavian encounter, Denmark, Finland? What do you got? I said 1-1. One, 1-1. One. 
Go for another draw. Oh, cannot be separated. I'm going to go with the Danes on this one. I'm going to go with a 2-1 win. Let me tie just the one goal extra. And again, it could go either way. And then wrapping up another bit of a banger here. We've got Germany up against Spain. They're going to lock horns, uh, I think, around about the same day as well, the 12th of July. Is it? Uh, it is, of course. There's a late kickoff coming at you. Got no odds on this one. So okay. it's at the Brentford Community Stadium. Of course, Germany kicking off with a, a good win last time around, as did Spain. Spain coming just unbeaten the last six games. Games. In fact, they haven't lost in the last 24 games. That's a great run. Meanwhile, Germany picked up three wins and three defeats. Uh, these two sides, they've played each other five times to 11. Two wins for Germany, zero wins for Spain, three draws. The biggest win for Germany over Spain, 5 0 win. No big wins for Spain because they haven't beaten them in the last 10, 10 or so years anyway. Uh, of course, the last time I played there was a draw. It was a 1 1 draw back in earlier this year, February it was. Uh, and of course, Germany just got one goal conceded against Spain at the last four matches, stretching all the way up to 2012. Germany picked up a 4 0 win over Denmark and Spain with a 4 1 win over Spain. Finland. No odds. It is in uh, Brentford. Millie, what's your guess for this one? Well, I said 3-2 to Spain. Ooh, you've gone again. Well, it could, it could go that way. You are going bold with your picks. But of course, like you being uh, biased or patriotic to your country, I'm also half German, so I've got to back the Germans on this one. I'm going to go uh, with a statement result. Germany, I'm going to. Th I'm also saying they're going to score three goals compared to, and you say Spain are going to score three goals, but I'm going 3-0 to Germany. And that is what we've got. Make sure you get down below, of course, to let us know in the comment section, but better still, hop out of a Super Brew, get your predictions in, in the Prediction League, and see if you can challenge us for the leaderboard. But until then, we're going to move on. Now, before we take a look at the next one, just be sure to take a look at Super Brew. Here it is for the uh, Euro 2022. Catch uh, it is Cutley for Euro 2022. There is a QR code right smack down in the middle there. Of course, you press that, you'll go directly to the league itself. Join, free to join, free to win a bit of fun. It is just for fun. Uh, and of course, we will, uh, we will. Uh, uh, see who can, who does well in the next one. There's still plenty of time to get involved. Still plenty of time to get your feet wet before the new season domestically. Where we're likely at this moment to be taking a look at this full time. And there you have it, folks. There you bloody have it. Be sure to get yourselves involved with the prediction league, the Super Bowl prediction league. Here it is. Cutley Force Euro 2022. Uh, of course, uh, that completes match number one. Part two. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow for match number two. Part two. Uh, as we look forward to the back end of the tournament. Uh, but that, my friends is what I've got for you today. Be sure to give it some love and smash your subscribe, smash your thumbs up, smash the little bell, of course, as we look forward to this. Can England go the way? What about Germany? Can they be contenders once again? Uh, we look forward to the next round of matches. will be match number three, part one for these for these nations. And then, of course, hopefully, uh, uh, an, ex an exciting knockout stage is not too far. But again, I appreciate Millie standing by. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching. See you later, girls and boys. I'll see you soon for the next.